What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to CFR. Not too long ago, I was tagged for this video, Sent My Ride by Ashton over at GentSense. Now, I don't know if you guys ever watched Pimp My Ride, but they would take old Pintos or maybe like the Mystery Machine off of Scooby-Doo and deck it out with LED TVs and jacuzzis and whatever they could. So this is gonna be a lot different though. We're just going to kind of mirror things that would kind of emulate what is my ride and how I would send it. So without no further ado, let's send my ride. Now being the baller that I am, you know, trying to really up the game as far as like pimping my ride, it's already pimped. What I drive is a Bentley Continental GT. So there's not a lot of pimping to that ride, well, I don't own a Bentley Continental. But being out here in the South, you know I've got to have a pickup truck. And the truck that I drive is the Ford F-150 Raptor. No, I don't have that either. Now I have had some pretty awesome rides throughout the years and I've had my share of pickup trucks. But when you're a family man, you have to think practical. And what's ironic that Ashton tagged me in this video, I actually picked up the car that I'm currently driving right before I met Ashton when we met up in Asheville, you know, back in the winter, it was close to first of the year. And I think I might've had my car maybe two days before I drove up to Asheville. So it was nice because I had just basically like a regular work pickup truck that wouldn't be like the most comfortable ride all the way up to Asheville, which is several hours away from Fayetteville. So actually, Actually, what I do own is a 2016 Ford Fusion Titanium with the 2.0, turbocharged 2.0 that is, Sportomatic transmission loaded to the gills, I mean I got my moonroof, Sony, you know, entertainment system, alloy wheels, very, very nice, mid-sized sedan, very practical, gets about 33 miles to the gallon on the highway, so very, very practical, but one of the really good upsides to this vehicle other than having air conditioned leather seats or heated leather seats like you need more heat on the leather <sighs> that air conditioning comes really much in handy on those leather seats so i was trying to think uh, okay this vehicle is nice but the nicest thing about this vehicle is the price that i paid for it i actually paid seven thousand dollars for this car and it had 38,000 miles on it so for practicality purposes and what i paid for it and actually what it's worth Earth, I had to go with Gucci Porom 2. As you guys well know, this used to be inexpensive, but is worth much more. So my vehicle was not very expensive and is worth much more. I actually could go easily double my money on it. It's also a mass appealing car. This is a very mass appealing fragrance and there's not anything to dislike about my vehicle and there's not anything to dislike about this beautiful fragrance either. So even though that it is like a family sedan, it's still sporty. It handles really good. And I think that this is sporty and handles really great. Now, you know, if we're talking about like gas mileage and all that, we probably better put this one down because this one doesn't have the best performance, but as far as versatility and value, you can't beat it. Now, if we're gonna talk about performance and it having a six-speed sportomatic transmission that you can drive all day without having to worry about refilling the gas tank, I'd have to go with Nishane's Hachivat. This fragrance lasts all day. I mean, I think this would actually have a six-speed sportomatic transmission in it. It's versatile, just like my car. It gets down the road just like this. So this would actually work as my engine and my transmission and many other facets as well. I mean, like I said, people don't look at that car and scoff. I get compliments. This will garner compliments as well. You can't go wrong. To get that extra turbo boost, Hachivat would definitely work for that. Now, as I said, I just did pick that vehicle up right before I headed to Asheville. The downside, the only downside to that car is the person who owned it before I did was a smoker. So I did mention this in one video before, but what was ironic is when I got to Asheville, of course, actually on the way there and before I actually cleaned it up, there was still a little bit of that cigarette smell in there. So I actually had YSLY live with me and I actually used this 
as an air freshener just because this is, you know, it performs like crazy. It smells good. I love the way that this smells. It's fruity, it's clean. So I wanted to cover up that cigarette smell and then, you know, really give it a deep cleaning. But what was ironic is Tommy from Studio Sense happened to be there as well. And he said that he was using Live as his air freshener in his car as well. Now, I'm not recommending to use fragrance as an air freshener unless you're buying a brand new car or somewhat of a, or a new car to you, let's put it that way. And cigarette smoke might be in there. It wasn't like real super bad, but I have extremely bad allergies. I hate the smell of cigarette smoke. And this did a fantastic job of covering it up until I could actually really get in there and do a super deep cleaning. So to keep that fresh and clean, sweet smell inside, you seen the wrong Y Live. Now to talk about the exterior of the vehicle, it's green. And what do they say about green? Geniuses pick it. Well, I'm not saying that I'm a genius. I actually picked a deal. This vehicle was actually being serviced at my shop and the owner was like, hey, if you know anybody that's looking for a car at a good deal, I'm just trying to get it paid off. I was like, how much do you owe on it, bro? He's like, 7K. I was like, how fast do you need that money? So he didn't need it right away. And I knew that within a month or two, I could round the money up and I did. So because it's green and it's clean and mass appealing as all get out, I picked Linen Vetiver from Banana Republic. I know you guys might be tired of me talking about this one, but if you look at my vehicle and you look at the presentation on this and then you think about the price and the color this is a green fragrance the presentation actually looks really nice the juice on the inside actually could sell for much more i think i have seen fragrances in the same realm as this one that do not smell as classy or nice as this one does so i cop that one for seven grand you can cop this one for 25 but if you're looking for a fresh clean green machine is one of the best green fragrances especially for the money in my collection outside of my vehicle being mass appealing and suitable for a family man or a teenager because actually the guy who owned it his teenage son was driving it to school going into college so he was like you know late teens early 20s driving that vehicle to college so after he got out of college he didn't need the vehicle anymore that's how i got it so it's sporty enough and practical enough for a teenager or a guy my age or even older. So I had to pick a fragrance that would work as well for a younger guy or middle guy or you know older guy. <laughs> it would be Yves Saint Laurent Y-E-D-T. Super versatile, it just works. I mean, there's nothing about this fragrance that I can say that is bad. It smells good, it's mass appealing, it does a trick. It works for any occasion. So I could literally drive that car you know, to a nice event or drive it back and forth to work every day that's the type of fragrance this is and like i said you know younger people can wear this with no problem i get people in the comments sometime asking me about different fragrances i recommend why a lot because it just really works and it pulls compliments i get compliments with that car all the time i think you get the picture versatility and just works and one last fragrance just for the sporty aspect of this vehicle having a turbo having a sportomatic transmission being pretty freaking peppy to be a four cylinder i picked your own sport this is one of my favorite just fresh clean sporty fragrances that absolutely works you know this is one that you can wear after the gym, before the gym, after work, before work, out on a date, by the grill, by the pool, whatever the case may be. Just sporty, fresh, clean, does the trick. I know a lot of people don't like, you know, Iris in the Ohm line. The Iris is tucked way down in this one. So just for the sporty aspects, I decided to go with Dior Ohm Sport. Sending your ride is a little bit Oh, it's a little more complex, I guess, depends on what type of vehicle you drive. And I had a lot of different ideas, but primarily my car being, you know, sporty, versatile, you know, working for any occasion, I tried to mix up my fragrances that would best suit those and not have to put LED screens in it or a jacuzzi or anything like that. So being that Ashton tagged me for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tag a couple of channels as well. Mike, over at 5280 Cents, you've talked to me about your truck. Let me see how you would scent your truck, brother. And the next channel I'd like to tag is Kenny, the Fragrance Shark. I'm not sure what you drive, bud, but I'm sure you'll get really creative 
creative with this. Those are two of my really close friends that have really great channels. I'll actually even put the links to both of their channels down in the description below. So down in the comments, let me know how you would scent your ride. Until next time, I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.